other day I ran into Hobby Lobby and I was amazed by all of the spring stuff they have and a lot of Easter activities. Lots of things for kids to do, so I thought I'd take you on a shop with me and we'd explore it together. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. On The Purple Alphabet, we do a lot of educational activities and ideas and inspirations to learn through play with your kids. That was really, really fast, but I wanna get to the shop with me because that's where you can source a lot of the activities to do at home. I'm always looking for very affordable and budget-friendly ways to do these things at home with your kids, and that's why I stopped into Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has a lot of stuff going on right now, so let's jump right into it and head over there and do a shop with me. This Hobby Lobby had quite a bit more than I expected. There was a few aisles to go through, so I just wanna show you some of the highlights. I stopped by all the party supplies, but was really, really loving these napkins. They are in the shape of Easter eggs, and they come in different colors. They have different patterns on them. I thought they were super cute. Also, if you're doing some desserts, these little cupcake picks with the little Easter bunnies on them are super cute. And then this game, it's an inflatable ring toss game. It's $5, but you put it on your head and you try to catch the ring on the bunny's ears. Also some treat bags. These will be great for Easter egg parties, Easter egg hunts. And then these are table scatters, but you can use these for a lot of hands-on activities, counting activities, sorting. I thought these were really cute. $3 for the entire bag. Plus everything was also 40% off. Here are all the Easter egg decorations they have. I thought these were super pretty. Some of my favorites out of the whole bunch, but they had quite a selection of things to decorate your house with. I don't do a lot of decorating for Easter, but I wanted to show you some of my favorites. I thought these carrots were super cute if you were gonna do some kind of pretend food game or maybe you're gonna put them in your pretend kitchen. And then they did have the eggs, like I saw these at the dollar store the other day, but these are a little bit bigger pack and probably a little bit better quality if you'd like to decorate, put these in a glass bowl on your table or even use them as place card holders. That could be a lot of fun too. Here is some more decor to use around the house, but my favorites were these bunnies made out of the green grass with the burlap bow, super adorable. And then here are the stickers if you're doing some crafting or maybe you're decorating some Easter eggs or some Easter cards. For the Easter baskets, they had a few items that I've seen at the dollar store that were just a little bit more expensive. They had a really good selection of books and not only story books, but also activity books. So if you wanted to take some of these with you to church or put them in a restaurant kit for the month of April, April, that would be a really good idea. Here's a puzzle that I found for $1.99 that had some Eastern themes to it. And then of course, a couple of picture books and all different levels too, which I thought was pretty good. So you could probably find one that suits the age of your child. They were all reasonably priced as well. They had a few egg dyeing kits. There was these Paws brand, they had a tie dye, they had a high gloss finish, but I really liked these kits. These are unicorn eggs, so basically you stick on the pieces and it has little legs that you could put underneath the egg. Thought that was super cute. And then they also have the egg stickers that make faces. My kids loved these last year from the Dollar Tree. Here are their craft kits. They come with a lot inside, so it has some different varieties. And then they also had a whole bunch of other craft ideas that you could do with a large group of children or just with your family. These little rabbit feet are very popular in case the Easter Bunny comes to visit you. You can set them out and show them that the Easter Bunny has hopped through your yard or house. Big fan of this huge package of square tissue paper. They are $2.99 for this big pack. I don't think I've seen a great deal on this at all. Those are perfect for Easter crafts. These little Melty Bee kits are adorable too. You can also find these at the dollar store, but I think I like these better. They are a little bit more expensive, but with the discount, it's not too bad. And then they have these little sun catcher kits that come with the paint and the paintbrush and the item to paint inside. I think there were two, like I said, just a little bit more than dollar store, but would make perfect Easter basket fillers. I kind of like the eggs the best rather than the bunnies. Here's a really cute crop that you can make into an Easter bunny. It's just basically a giant fur ball and you add all the pieces on. I thought that was kind of fun. And then they had some pom-pom kits. I've also seen these at the dollar store. Uh, these seem to be a little bit better quality if you're interested in something that's probably going to last a little bit longer for maybe a few dollars more. I also like that they had the plain Easter eggs so you can decorate these. They're just like the real thing, but they are 100% not real. <laughs> that was kind of cool. And then they had some that already had pre-printed designs on them like these that you can fill in or color on your own. A lot of window clings here, a little bit more expensive than the dollar store once again, but you could still use your discount of 40% off, but they had some of the same kind of styles that you would see at Dollar Tree. 
lots and lots and lots of baskets. You could have your pick. There's so many to choose from. It would be really, really hard to find a favorite, but they did have a large variety as well as the plastic Easter eggs, just about every single color, every single size. And then these right here that I did see at the dollar store last year, but didn't see this year. They're the little bunny ones that have ears on them. I think those are super cute. And then once again, they had the plastic white ones. I don't think you could decorate these with paint, but you might be able to glue some things on them. These were at the dollar store and you guys told me that they'd be great for hiding Easter eggs at the large prize at the end. And then they also had a whole bunch of hair accessories for girls and little pieces of jewelry that would go perfect for an Easter dress outfit. And their ears, you guys, their ears are much better than the ones at the dollar store. Still cost a little bit more, but the quality is definitely much better. Another dollar store find, but this time in different designs, the tic-tac-toe boards. And then what the heck is this? It's a magic tattoo face. Wait, it is a bunny that you could put on your face as a tattoo. Not 100% sure if this would really look good and work, but it was kind of interesting, especially when I look at the boy on the front of the package. These glow in the dark sticks I've also seen at the dollar store as well. They go inside plastic eggs. And then I did find some more coloring books. So little activity books, all Easter themed, plus this little paint one, which I think is a lot of fun, paint with water. I love these because the paint's on the page and you just use the paint that's there. And then if you are religious, they did have the resurrection eggs as well, in case you're wondering where to get them. I also put them in my Easter list on my Amazon store, so you can go back and check those if you want some of those resurrection eggs. These little building block kits were super cute. They come in a plastic egg and they have inside little things that you can build for $3. I thought that was the score because I'm telling you right now, I know the name brand ones are gonna be far more expensive and they had a couple different styles. And then sensory fidget items are really, really popular right now, so they had a couple of those too that would be perfect for an Easter basket Filler. And if you like the stuffed animals, they had those too, of course. That was about it for the Easter stuff, so I went ahead and walked the rest of the store looking for summer things because summer's right around the corner and I wanted to get a sneak peek at some of the things that they had available. What caught my eye are these. These are ring ice pop trays. So they are like ring pops. You put them on your finger and they come off and they're like rings, but they're popsicles. How brilliant is that? And then I really did like this collapsible bucket too. That would be perfect for packing away on a trip. Maybe you're going on vacation and have to go on the plane. So you can take your bucket with you because it falls flat and then you have all the pieces to go with it. And they had a whole selection of yard games too. Definitely like the Connect Four. I think that's pretty cool. I kind of actually want that for myself. These are all 40% off. And then they had your typical lawn games, bowling games, you know, playing outside with ring tosses. This was a tug of war game. There's a lot of possibilities for outdoor play with these. And of course I could not resist buying a thing here or there. It was very tempting. I held back a lot, but here's what I hauled. So I didn't go crazy. I have a little mini, mini, mini haul. It was really tough not to buy the whole store because everything was so adorable, but I did get a couple of things for Easter. And I do have to say that everything was 40% off, which is great. Um, the stuff will go much cheaper, but it's usually picked over by them. So these are activity books. They are sticker activity books, the beginner's Bible. They are more on the religious side but I mean it is Easter and <laughs> we celebrate it and then inside we have our sticker books and then just basic activities now these when I looked at them they aren't exactly crazy activities that are really difficult um, so some of them are probably too easy some are a little bit more difficult than others but I'm more interested in all the reading blurbs to get my kids kind of interested in Easter while still doing some activities does that make sense so these can go in our Easter baskets and our kids will have something kind of fun to do on Easter day. And that's why I have two of them. Also, I got these two books. They are called the Itty Bitty Bible Activity Book, Celebrate Easter Jesus is Alive. Kind of the same thing. I'm thinking they might be a good deal for a church kind of activity. The activities in this book are a little bit harder. I also like that it's small and compact. These were $1.99 each plus the 40% off. Okay, and on the non-religious side, we have these invisible ink books. These are Easter extra fun. There are several different versions of these, but each one does come with the pen, which is nice. And it has some samples on the back. There's just activities you can do in here by using the marker and revealing the answer. Once again, I like that these are small. Normally these books are a little bit bigger, but what a great fit for a restaurant kit. Yeah, kind of thinking ahead on this one. There are 32 pages in each one of these, so enough to keep them busy for at least what, 10 minutes? This is my favorite type of Easter basket filler. It, instead of that grass that gets everywhere, it's shiny and, and pieces, this is more like 
um, a cotton kind of feel and you put this inside your basket. I haven't been able to find this for years. I used to have this when I was growing up and I saved a little bit from that. Um, it lasts forever. It's just great to put in baskets and it looks like your grass. It also comes in other colors. It kind of looks like um, cotton candy in a way, but it is great. So I do highly recommend this. This was a score for me, $4.99 for the giant pack. They had smaller packs too with different colors. And then of course I went back to the back and found some clearance items. I found these canvas tote bags they are 13 13 by 13 and they have a handle and these were on clearance yes 99 cents I plan to use this with my Cricut maker so that I can design my own tote bags I got one for each I'm thinking maybe a gymnastics bag for them that I could design but if you're in the need for some of these kind of DIY project materials these were all on clearance score there if you want to see more from Hobby Lobby let me know down below in the comments because I don't normally go there a lot but if you guys want to see more from there I will definitely do more videos make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.